Now, for more than a decade, the people of Gaza have been living under an Israeli siege. One group of Palestinian women there has been scraping out a living by selling dates. But they're now hopeful that a recent agreement between Hamas and Fatah will help them reap the dividends of reconciliation. Ahmad al Barai reports. Deir el Balah, the Palestinian city of palm trees. As the season begins, women at the Balah Palestine Society are busy packaging dates. These women earn income by making products out of this staple fruit. We have around 50 to 60 female workers. This gave them the opportunity to increase their income. And after being workers, we now we have a company called Bala Palestine, which includes 41 women. But dates from Gaza can't reach their markets because of the ongoing siege. You all know what the Gaza Strip is suffering from, the closure, the siege, the difficulties in movement. You also know that Israel put a lot of restrictions on exporting products to the markets outside of the Gaza Strip. However, this year people are more optimistic. The rival Palestinian groups Hamas and Fatah have signed a landmark reconciliation deal in Cairo in a step towards ending their decade-long rift. And these date producers hope that will help them reach markets in the West Bank and abroad. The reconciliation will create a positive atmosphere in the private sector. It will also attract more investment. I believe that internal reconciliation will definitely help to open the way to access markets outside Gaza. The Israeli blockade has lasted 11 years. Coupled with the dispute among Palestinian factions, it's been devastating for Gaza's two million people. But there is an expression here that says, he who would eat the fruit must climb the tree. And with the reconciliation, many Palestinians are optimistic. They can reach new heights. Ahmed El-Burai, TRT World.